Okay, gang, for this exercise, you may want to set yourself up so that your feet can rest on a couch or sturdy surface and you can lie comfortably on your back. We'd like to get the knees roughly over the hip joints. If you have any closing angle on the front of the hip, they could be a little further away. Our goal here is to start to wake up the inner thigh tissues that help with adduction um, in progressively wider angles of the hip. So getting the knees a little further and further apart incrementally. So you can start just with a yoga block or pillow, <clears throat> lining that up between your knees. And then we wanna make sure before we begin that we brace the core. And then you're gonna to start to slowly engage the knees inward on the block until you can feel some contraction through your inner thigh tissues. And then ramp that up to the indicated intensity. Hold that intensity for the indicated duration in your notes. And then slowly ramp it down optional here you can leave your heels resting on the couch or you can add a little intensity to the whole exercise and a little more demand to your midsection by floating your heels off so that's a variable to play with once you've done that successfully you're going to turn your block to a slightly wider setting so now the knees are a little further apart and you're going to rinse repeat brace the midsection slowly ramp up a squeeze of the block to feel as much tissue from the inner knee to the groin waking up and participating hold for indicated duration and then ramp it back down volume dial back down from there to go wider you'll start to have a fun adventure of building props so we're going to use like a pillow and a block yep negotiate that and then slowly ramp up hold slowly ramp down you've got the idea at a certain point, you're going to run out of props and you're going to be like, what do I do now? <clears throat> you can at that point transition into the frog position. Try to recreate that angle that you weren't able to prop props in between. And then you can do the same drill using the floor. It's going to feel a little bit different, but if you can feel like your knees are super glued to the floor and possibly your feet and that you're squeezing inward with both, that should be good. If you get to a width of your thighs where you can't feel any contraction, you've gone a little too far. We want to stay within where you can feel that contraction and clearly ramp it up and then slowly progress outward from there, making sure that you can get a good, clear sensation of contraction.